Hi everyone. Uh, it's day 34. We're on the 3rd of February. Uh, and it's definitely time for bed. Um, I had a great session of D&D uh, &D with my wonderful degenerates. Um, and I'm not in too much pain. It feels like hardly any pain at all, actually. My light is a bit odd and I look really red. Very strange. Um, but I finished a little while ago, but I've been watching TikToks, I'll be honest, um, with Vicky and Abby. So thank you both. It's been a pleasure. Um, I was like, right. Need to do my poem. Need to go to bed. <laughs> so here I am. Uh, so, 3rd of February. Our poem is Adventures of Isabel by Ogden Nash. And it says here that Nash wrote this poem for his daughter, Isabel, who must have been a particularly fearless child. Um, I know quite a few people who have quite fearless children so this should be good it's it's a little bit longer Meg apparently I'm being joined by a fearless Meg settle down puppet so this is Adventures of Isabel by Ogden Nash Adventures of Isabel by Ogden Nash Isabel met an enormous bear Isabel, Isabel, didn't care The bear was hungry, the bear was ravenous The bear's big mouth was cruel and cavernous The bear said, Isabel, glad to meet you How do, Isabel, now I'll eat you Isabel, Isabel didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She washed her hands and straightened her hair up. Then Isabel quietly ate the bear up. Once in a night as black as pitch, Isabel met a wicked old witch. The witch's face was cross and wrinkled. The witch's gums with teeth were sprinkled. Ho, ho, Isabel, the old witch crowed. I'll turn you into an ugly toad. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She showed no rage and she showed no rancor, but turned the witch into milk and drank her. Isabel met a hideous giant. Isabel continued self-reliant. The giant was hairy, the giant was horrid. He had one eye in the middle of his forehead. Good morning, Isabel, the giant said. I'll grind your bones to make my bread. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. She nibbled the side back that she always fed off. And when it was gone, she cut the giant's head off. Isabel met a troublesome doctor. He punched and he poked till he really shocked her. The doctor's talk was of coughs and chills, and the doctor's satchel bulged with pills. The doctor said unto Isabel, Swallow this, it will make you well. Isabel, Isabel, didn't worry. Isabel didn't scream or scurry. Isabel took those pills from the pill concoctor, and Isabel calmly cured the doctor. That's wonderful. I really like that. I hope you enjoyed it too. Mm. I'm really enjoying... The, I particularly enjoyed the... the rhyming pattern 
of that poem. Very nice. Nice pace. Nice stanzas. All of my English literature, A level, is coming back to me. The more poetry I read, it's quite nice. Uh, another. Oh. I shall have to make sure I uh, make a bit more time for tomorrow. Okay, so we've got a couple of longer poems coming up over the next few days. Um, an anonymous poem, which I know very well. An anonymously written poem, sorry. And then uh, two poems by an author who I'm quite familiar with, or at least by name. Um, so, very much looking forward to those. I'll try and get those um, a bit earlier so that people can join me and maybe enjoy those as they go to bed. Because um, I'm very aware that nobody is about right now. Because you're all asleep. Because it's ten past eleven on a Wednesday. So that's fair enough. Um, I hope maybe somebody might pick this up Thursday morning. And it might be a nice, gentle start to your day. Okay, folks. I hope you've had a nice sleep. Or if you choose to watch this on another evening. I hope this has been a nice settling evening for you. Where have you headed off to now? Have a good one. Bye.